For the focus group? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Go ahead and have a seat and I will check you in. We're ready for you. We're gonna have you meet the CEO of the company. Okay. We're gonna go just around the corner. It's a glass office in the back. You can't miss it. What's his name? Just knock. Thank you. You're welcome. I was very confused at first, going up to the two doors. I was like, uh. So the man seemed to be a little more powerful. There was like some logic, but also some unconscious, like the CEO is probably a guy, which sort of makes me mad now. Not only is it happening, I'm like busted, right? <laughs> like I'm like cold busted. Immediately my, my mind went to the guy, but then I was like, I caught myself and I was like, wait, why do you think that, Caitlin? That lets you know that there's something really, really interesting about the culture in which we live. Like for me, for example, I'm um, a school teacher. All of the principals I've ever had, all of those schools that I've worked at, it's always been males. And the assistant principals always tend to be females. I've gotten a lot of the assumptions that that's probably the assistant of the person that owns that business <laughs> when I was going in to meet. And it's like, no, it's me. You just have to try a little bit harder, I think, to be respected. And that's frustrating. We have to continue to get into those key decision-making roles so that we can pull other women up with us because honestly, we're the only ones that know our struggle the way that we do. Everybody has the potential to lead if they desire. That face is changing, it doesn't have to be. As a woman, I want to be seen and known as myself, powerful, equal, multifaceted, skillful, valuable. That leader, that emblem of success, that person that's inspiring other people, that can be you.